Many thanks for joining us here on uh, Mirror Now. Let's get started with breaking news coming in. Well, uh, with the biggest ever cash recovery, over 350 crore and counting, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has taken a jibe on, on the Congress party. Prime Minister goes on to say that in India, who needs a money heist fiction when you have the Congress party whose heists are legendary for 70 years and counting? Sabisachi is joining me on the phone line to give us uh, more details on this. Sabisachi, when it comes to the biggest ever cash recovery, where over 350 crore and counting is on, Prime Minister has in fact taken a jibe at the Congress party, saying in India, who needs a money heist fiction when you have the Congress party? So clearly, the Prime Minister hitting out at the Congress there. Oh, well, absolutely. See, Prime Minister hit back at the Congress party saying that who needs, who needs a money heist uh, fiction in India when there is Congress party. And uh, today morning, uh, several uh, union ministers, including Kiran Rijuju, has attacked uh, the Congress party and its uh, association with corruption. Now the BJP says that the Congress party is equal to the corrupt party and it should be named as the corrupt party instead of the Congress party. Uh, now the BJP has been saying that why isn't the Congress party or Mr. Rahul Gandhi still silent on this matter? The BJP also blames that Rahul Gandhi and uh, uh, Dheeraj uh, Sahu from whose uh, residence around, uh, till now around 353 crores has been recovered are uh, close friends. And that is the reason why Rahul Gandhi is silent on this. And uh, the BJP also questioned that whether this money was travelled to the national capital or it has travelled to the Gandhis, this thing the Congress party must answer. Whereas the Congress party, on the other hand, clearly have said that the Congress party has nothing to do with it. And Mr. Neeraj Sahu and his family has been running business over several years. And the Congress party has nothing to do with it. The Congress party even went to an extent where they blamed the digitization. They said that the BJP failed to uh, fully imply, uh, uh, imply the demonetization in the country. Now, the, the BJP also blamed the Congress party partners, that is the India Alliance. The India Alliance has been silent on this matter. The BJP says that why these leaders are silent. And the BJP also uh, took names of several leaders from different political parties, from Congress to RJD to Trinamool Congress. The BJP says that name any party in the India Alliance, their leaders or leadership, either they are facing corruption charges or they are behind bars and not getting bail. So clearly the BJP says that our fight against corruption would continue and we would not spare any leaders who's involved in corruption. So this is a clear-cut challenge that the BJP has thrown towards the Congress party and its partners in the India Alliance. Okay, Sabisachi, appreciate you joining us and giving us all the details. Let's leave it at that and shift our focus.